What's up guys, in today's tutorial, we'll see how to turn an image into this grungy kind of newspaper photo effects that you can see in here using Adobe Photoshop. But before we're gonna start this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe and leave a comment. Alright, so let's get to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and open Photoshop and then let's go to File, New and I will create this document using these uh, settings in here. So it's uh, 3840 for the width and 2160 for the height, 72 in the resolution and RGB in the Chrome mode. And of course, if you want to change the resolution or change whatever you want for this, you can do that. And I will press OK. All right, so the first thing that we are going to do is to create a background. So we'll create a solid color. So let's go to adjustment and choose solid color. And I will choose a soft gray, like 75% in the brightness and I'll press okay. And then I will delete this background and delete this layer mask too. And I will call this BG for background. All right, next I will go to my file and uh, all these textures that you can see in here, you can find them down in the link from uh, the description below. So you can download them and follow along if you want. All right, so we're gonna start with this texture. So I'm gonna take it and open it in here. All right, now I'm gonna resize it to fit the canvas, just like that. And I will one click on this check mark. And then I will rename it to texture PG. And then I will right click and choose rasterize layer. All right, now we're gonna desaturate it by pressing Ctrl, Command, Shift, U, and this will desaturate it. And then I will uh, change the opacity of this to 50%, and also the fill, I will put it 50%. All right, now we're gonna add another texture on top of this. So we'll go and open this texture in here. So I'm gonna drag it again to my document, and I will one click on this check mark. And again, I will right click, resize it, and for this one, uh, again, I will change the blending mode of it to multiply. Let me see. Oh, no, this is in normal. Uh, we need to change it to multiply. Just like that. It's not that uh, a lot of difference, but uh, it will work like that. All right. Now, after we change this to multiply, I'm going to drop down the opacity to 40%. But for this one, I want it only to be shown in the borders. So I want this center to be empty of this texture so what i'm gonna do is to actually go to the elliptical marquee tool which is right under the rectangular marquee tool so i'm gonna select it and i will make an elliptical circle and i will make sure to hit all the border and to move your selection you can just press space and this will allow you to move the selection just like that all right so i think this would work and then I will right click and choose feather and I will put 500 pixels in the feather radius and I will press OK. All right. Now, while we have our selection, you can just go ahead and one click on this layer mask. Uh, but you can see we have the opposite of what we want. So we need to inverse this layer mask. So we're going to double click on it and I will choose invert. All right, now we have this texture in the edges or in the borders, just what I want. All right, so we're done with the, the background. Now we're going to create a new layer and I will call this image. And then I'll right click and choose convert to smart object. And then we're going to open this smart object by double click on this layer just right in the center. And this will open it in a new tab. And now we'll go and open the image that we'll be using, which is this one. I'm gonna take it, drag it, and make it bigger somewhere around here. And I won't click on this check mark. All right, now I want to delete the background of this. So I will go to select and choose, no, sorry, select and choose subject. And we have our selection. Uh, for the selection, it doesn't need to be really good, but I think I want to include this. Uh, hands even that they are a little bit blurred so I'm just gonna grab the lasso tool and as you can see it's already in the plus icon in here so I'm just gonna 
draw it like that so i'm just gonna follow this in here and close all right and this would include the hands and then i would want to click on this layer mask to apply our selection it doesn't look that great but it doesn't matter for this effect to have a good selection all right now we'll right click and restorize it and then i will close this smart object but i will make sure to press yes to save all right now we have our image in here now i want to make uh, i want to have four copies including this so i'm gonna press ctrl command j three times one two three and now we have four copies and let's name this image one and image two image three and image four all right and we will hide all these three images on top and i will only keep this in here shown all right so for this we're only gonna apply uh, a texture on top of it and we will clip it to the image so let's go ahead and open the texture which is this one let's say 200x and I will just drag it and open it in here and then one click on this check mark and again restorize it and I need to clip it to this image one in here so I will select the newspaper 200x and I will press alt or option and I will go in between and as you can see the cursor change and then I will one click and now we have it clip only for this image all right now we'll select the image one in here and then I will go to this FX icon and I will choose blending options all right in the blending options in here I will only use the blend if for this layer not underlying layer so I want to use this white slider so I'm just gonna press alt or option to split this slider so if, if you press alt or option you can split it and drag it just all over the black point in here and I'll press ok and that's all what we're gonna do for this image one all right next i will select the image to layer and make it visible and for this one we're gonna apply a layer mask that it has a texture uh, this texture actually so i will make it visible and then i will apply the layer mask and then i will go ahead and open the texture again this one so i'm just gonna take it and drag it again and I will make sure that it's in the center all right and check mark all right now for this texture we're gonna delete it actually we only want to copy the texture so I will make sure that it's visible and then I'm gonna press ctrl a or command a to select the whole canvas or you can just go to select and choose all and then I will press ctrl or command c to copy what we have in the canvas and we can just delete it because we already copied it and then I want to enter this layer mask to paste what we have copied. So to do that, we're gonna press Option or Alt on our keyboard and one click. And this will actually allow us to enter the layer mask world. So now we can press Control Command V to paste what we have copied. All right, now we're gonna press Control Command D to deselect. All right, now I want to actually inverse uh, whatever it's white in here. I want to inverse it to black. So to do that, we're gonna press Ctrl or Command I, and as you can see, everything that we have white it turned black. And then I'm gonna press Ctrl or Command L to open the level adjustment, and I want this white to actually to be more whiter. So I'm just gonna drag this, as like this, just like that, and I will press OK. And then I will one click outside of the layer mask, and as you can see, we have this effect now. But I want this image to be black and white, so I will go to adjustment and I will choose gradient map. And as you can see, it's black to white, which is perfect. Now we're just gonna clip it to the image two in here. All right, now we're gonna select the image three actually. In here, I should put three. So I will select it and make it visible. And for this one, I want to apply some adjustments and some filters. So I will select it and then I will go to image adjustment and I will choose black and white and I will press OK in the default in here. Next, let me just delete this layer mask. 
So next I will go again to image adjustment and I will choose shadow highlight and I will keep everything in here in the default and I will press OK. All right, now I will go to filter this time and in the artistic. The reason why I will go directly to artistic so we can have the name in there shown for the cutout that we're gonna use. Just like that. All right, so for this one, it's actually need a little bit of experimenting with this, it depends on your image. But for this image, I will put four in the number of levels and four in the edge simplicity and the one in the edge fidelity. But of course, you need to experiment with this. So for this one, I will just keep it like that and do a piece OK. And as you can see, we have the cutout in here, uh, name uh, shown in the smart filters. All right, so the last uh, filter that we are going to use is uh, in the filter, in the stylize and oil paint. And uh, in the stylization, I will put 10 and 10 in the cleanness and 0.1 is actually down both of them and lightning is unchecked and I will press OK just to make the edges more smooth in here alright so we can actually add a posterize adjustment in the smart filter in here but we're not gonna do that because we want to control the the dark and the white areas of this image and uh, to do that we're gonna actually go to adjustments in here and add them as a, a separate layers so we're gonna first add a level adjustment and clip it to the image 3 and then go back to adjustment and add posterize and again clip it and 4 in the levels in here so now we can just go and open the level adjustment and control the black and the white as you can see in here which is very good I mean you might need it or you won't so it's good to have this option all right, so I will close it for now. All right, now we'll uh, go back to the image three and we're gonna apply the same texture with the same technique that we did in the image two in here. So I'm gonna select the image three layer and again, I will create a layer mask and I will enter the layer mask again by pressing Alt or Option and one click and this will allow me to enter the layer mask world. And because we already copied the texture, if you remember, can just press ctrl command v and paste it like this and then press ctrl command d but for this one we're not gonna invert it or anything we're gonna keep it like this but again i will apply some adjustment so i'm gonna press ctrl command l to open the level adjustment and this time i want the black to be shown more so i'm gonna take this black point and pull it like that and i will press ok and then i will one click outside of the layer mask and as you can see we have this effect but we're not done yet we're gonna change the blending mode to hard mix i know it looks awful but we're gonna drop down the fill to 50 percent and this will create this really amazing effect as you can see in here and the good thing about this you can always go back to the levels and again choose where you want your text to be shown can just play with it if you want or keep it as uh, the default if you want of course I think for this image I will just put it a little bit in the midtone to around 0 0.90 just like that all right all right so the last thing that we're gonna add on top is the image 4 so I'm gonna select it and for this one gonna, I'm just gonna use it as a color uh, for the image so I'm just going to change the blending mode of it to color and drop down the opacity to around 70% just to give a little bit of color which is optional you can keep it black and white if you want all right so we're going to add another texture on top of everything so I'm just going to go to my folder and uh, I will uh, choose this one that it say top I'm going to take it and open it in here and again I will resize it and I will one click on this check mark and again I will right click and choose rasterize layer all right next I will change the blending mode of this to multiply but uh, for this one I only want it to be in the edges in here using a brush 
even that it looks really nice but I don't want it to be in the middle I want it to be flying text in here so to do that we're gonna actually apply a black layer mask so I'm gonna one click on this layer mask icon while I'm pressing alt or option on my keyboard and this will apply a black layer mask and then I will go to my brushes you will find all these three brushes that we're gonna use uh, in the link from the description below too so I'm gonna select this one and I will just start painting but let me make sure that the opacity is set to 100 and I will just start painting just right in the edges in here just clicking like that just to add a little bit more effect to our image alright I think I like this you can add as many textures as you want I think I will put down the opacity of uh, the color layer to around 50% something like that alright so we're almost done we're only gonna add some adjustments so I will go to adjustments and I will choose levels and I will uh, go to the RGB I always like to mess with the red and the green and the blue just a little bit and then the blue channel just like that all right and I will put down the opacity of this to fit 70% and then I will go back to adjustment and this time I will go for exposure and I will add a little bit of offset like 0 0.0125 and the gamma correction will put it to 0 0.90 just to give it this fade look maybe I will put down the opacity to 70% and lastly we're gonna add a, a curve so I will go and choose curves and I will make three points just like that and I will make a little bit of contrast to the whole image we fade it a little bit and let's see I will put down the opacity to 60 or 70 percent all right so I think I'm happy with this and of course if you want it black and white you can do that all right and we are done all right so I hope that you enjoyed and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit uh, helpful for you if you try this please let me know on Instagram Facebook whatever and uh, don't forget to subscribe and comment and leave a like and wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day thank you for watching